Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Ryan back again today with another video and today we're going to be talking about the CompTIA A+. So the CompTIA A+, is a baseline standard test that I think everybody getting into IT should be taking. It's a very good test to test your broad range of IT knowledge and this is something that a lot of employers for a level one job will be looking for. The A+, is one of those tests that you don't have to study all the details but you're going to have to know a broad range of topics. It covers networking, security, basic uh, troubleshooting skills and a bunch of different things that you're going to have to figure out. But the good thing is there are a lot of resources for you to use that are on YouTube, like Professor Messer and a bunch of different other people who are making these videos. Professor Messer is my personal favorite. He makes a bunch of videos and he goes through every exam topic one by one and kind of nails them all down so you can uh, go back and figure out which spot you need to learn more in and you can go learn that stuff really quickly in a five, six minute video. One of the best things that Professor Messer does also is he has practice tests and notes. I have never bought his notes before, but I always well, I always watch his videos and I buy his tests. For the A+, I bought his tests and I gotta tell you, they were pretty close. They weren't exact exam questions, but the score that I got in his practice test reflected the score I got on my test when I went to Pearson. So I would think that they're a good way to evaluate if you're ready for the test or not, which is the biggest part of uh, the practice. You're probably trying to figure out if the test is easy or not. That's probably one of the questions you have in the back of your head. You might think, oh, it's too hard. I can't pass it. Let me tell you from experience, I was in your same shoes. I was Googling it the night before trying to figure out how hard this is, how easy it is. And if you can't tell, I passed it. I passed with a pretty good score. I think I had a 780 on the first one and a, like an 820 on the second one. So yes, there are two tests. That's a whole other topic. but. Basically what I'm saying is if you study, you apply yourself, it's not going to be that hard. I think I spent six weeks studying for the first one and I spent two weeks studying for the second one and I got a higher score on it. Uh, most of the material is on the first test actually. The second test seems to be more troubleshooting. You do learn, I think, security on the second one, but the second test is more about using all the information you have learned and applying it to a uh, situation and stuff like that. I guarantee that if you make a schedule and you hold yourself accountable, you will pass both tests. There is no doubt about it. Give yourself a week to go over last minute notes you have and a lot of different uh, topics you may not be uh, more comfortable with. You're going to take that one test two weeks out and when you do that test, you then need to go back through and figure out what domain each one domains is the five domains uh, categories basically. You get to go back through and figure out which ones are not your strong suit and what areas you think you can improve in and go back through and watch those videos again, take notes, maybe read that part of the book a little bit more and you're gonna you're gonna figure it out. It's not, it's not, nothing on this test is gonna be rocket science at all. And once you're taking these practice tests and you're actually getting uh, some scores that you want or maybe not getting the scores that you want, you can always go online and try to find more practice tests to get more questions in. I find personally, the best thing I can do is to go through question after question after question. I try to go through, I have a CBT Nuggets and I have Professor Messer for resources that I use. And I probably go through 500 questions on CBT Nuggets and then I go over to the, to the Professor Messer ones and I go through the 330 or whatever that he gives for his practice tests. And that's a, a lot of tests, a lot of test questions. You're going to have a lot, you're gonna be able to and that's a lot of test questions. Seeing a lot of questions already gets you in the mindset for the things you're gonna to have to answer and what they're looking for on the test. Last but not least, when you go take your test, make sure you get a good night's sleep before, you look over your materials, and you're going with a positive mindset. I guarantee if you do those three things the night before, after you've done your whole schedule, you're gonna go in there and pass the test. It's not stressful, it's not that hard. You get like 120 minutes, I think, for 70 or 80 questions. It's not that hard. Just go do it, you got this, and and just remember, once you pass this test, you're going to have employers knocking on your door trying to hire you. Just keep that in the back of your mind while you're taking that test. Now, for some test taking strategies, I like to do on the, at least on the A+, the CC and A, you cannot do this actually, because once you click next on the question, it goes to the next question and you cannot go back. On CompTIA A+, I think in Net, Net Plus and Security Plus, I believe, you can go to the next, 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 and you can go back and review your question. So, I try to get through every question immediately so I see the whole pool of questions I know what I'm working with. And then I will go back again and I will, as I'm going through the first time, I'll mark for review all the questions that I don't know necessarily if I have the right answer. Some of them you're like, yeah, I got that, boom, next one. But the ones you don't maybe know off the top of your head, um, you're gonna wanna mark that one for review and go back and try to figure it out, work the problem a little bit, cross off, you know, always eliminate them and take your best educated guess. That's basically what it comes down to. If you can eliminate two, you have a 50% chance of getting a 
question, right? And if you do that for all the ones you don't know, let's say you, you, you say you get 50 that you automatically know, and then you have about 25 that you're like, all right, 50, 50, you're going to pass the test. It's that simple. It's just math. So go out, when you're taking the test, don't stress, just get through all the questions, go back again and re keep reviewing them. You got you got enough time. You're going to remember the stuff. You keep looking at it. And the best part is sometimes you're actually going through the test and you see a question and you're like, Hey, I remember the answer for that question back there. And then when you go back to it, you're going to be like, Oh, that's easy. Boom. And you might not remember it at that moment specifically. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did learn anything, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to try making more of these videos. I already know that I'm going to make a security plus video, a net plus video probably. And I'll be going over resume and interviewing skills to help you guys get a better job. So thank you guys. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you.